Let's go on a spotlight shoot with Miss Peyton. Excellent dancer and an amazing human being. Let's check it out. We did this shoot at the Hyatt Coconut Point Resort Center. It had a lot of different options inside and out. This first location was a single key light camera left and I used an 85 uh, 1.4 G Master lens and I was sort of going for symmetry. Anytime I'm going for symmetry in a shot, and especially working with a dancer, I try to keep the pose pretty simple to help uh, with that. On this shot, Jessica was shooting a 16mm 2.8 lens, and we had two, um, two off-camera flashes on either side of the talent. On this next shot, we had Jessica on the 135mm um, Batiste at 2.8, and we sent her to the other state because she had to go far away to get this shot. Two flashes, a key light, camera right, and a kicker light also. This shot's one of my favorites. Jessica is still on the 135 2.8 prime lens, and um, two flashes were used on either side of the talent, and we stopped the camera down so it's a nice, uh, sort of a moody, dark um, background. On this shot, you'll see two, um, two off-camera flashes, a key light uh, to camera left, and there's also a kicker light that I put a gel on. Um, the flame, um, a yellow gel that I thought would still work okay since there was a flame in the shot. I really like how the two lights set up really highlighted her form and they'll have the light hit her face. Beautiful. This is what you do when you have a giant Connect 4 game. You get an excellent dancer and put her in a tutu and play. This is the two light setup. Key light was camera left and a kicker light was camera right. Shot on 85mm, 1.4. Jessica grabbed these. There was two lights, one kicker light in the back, and then a key light in the front, camera right, and I believe she used her 50mm 1.4 on this. Then I grabbed a couple of natural light shots with my 85mm 1.4. I was walking down the hall and I saw this scene here and I thought, this could be cool. And um, the cool thing about working with amazing talent and a good partner like Jess is they let me be crazy for a minute and see what, what we create. I think it came out good. Only one light was used to um, on the floor behind her and I removed the actual flash and post and no dancers were harmed during the making of this photo that can be proven in the court of law. Single bare bulb flash on her on this one, just going for some sort of dramatic um, symmetry shot. You can see the key light camera right on this one and I'm on, still on an 85mm 1.4. I love all the leading lines of the staircase and the lines of her that she creates as well as her outfit. Um, I just love this series. Jessica doing a little bit of hair maintenance. This shot we just put the softbox right on the floor and pointed it up at her and um, broke her in half. Always remember to put the stuff you moved for the shot back in place so that um, you're not a jerk. This was shot on a 24mm 1.4 and a single key light. I shut the camera down so the background was dark and moody, so it sort of uh, gave it a cool, lonely vibe with this pose. Um, I think it came out good. This last shot was a simple 85 um, millimeter shot with a single key light camera right. That's it, that's a spotlight shoot. We spent about an hour on site, uh, a couple of wardrobe changes, and we basically get to walk around and be creative, not only Jessica and I, but also with the talent and, and her mom. So, my name is Michael Von Pick, and my partner's name is Jessica R. Bunger, and we own an Evoke Studio uh, photography and videography business, and we travel all over the country in our super awesome fun van and do wedding photography and portrait photography of all kinds. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you soon.